Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Dirt 2. Today is episode number 3, and we have unlocked Malaysia, so we can go and take part in that in a future episode at some point. But first of all, we're going to be doing uh, these two uh, throwdowns that we have been issued. So we're going to start with the Dave Mirror one, which we need to buy a new vehicle for, actually. Um, so we've got either the VW Touareg, we've got ourselves a Hummer H3, which has a really good top speed. Um, I think the Hummer H3 actually is the best one because it's got the best drivability, but it's got the same top speed and acceleration as the rest. So we're going to pick the Hummer H3. You got it. Now go get it dirty. Right. Uh, we're going to quickly customize it and see what... Oh, I like the slime one. That looks really nice. So let's select that, and we are going to defeat you, Dave Mirror. One-on-one -on -one throwdown. I've not actually done a one-on-one -on -one throwdown, so this is going to be really interesting to try out. Beat Dave Mirror to win. Raid Croatia. Let's have a look at the interior of this, because I know the interior of the Hummer H3 is quite... Special. Oh, this is the, uh... This can't be the H3. This is the H2. I forgot. The H3 is the other looking one. The thing with Hummers is they are huge trucks. Absolutely massive. And I don't like that that Mitsubishi is coming up behind me like that. Right, here we go. Under the underpass here. Dave is right behind us. That didn't sound very nice. Sounded like the car almost bottoming out. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh! Oh, that was a bit of a bang. That was a big bang. But Dave, you have been defeated by the Hummer. How do you feel? And there we go. First place. We did it. Dave, you have been defeated. Next up. Katie, you're going down. Mirror image. Oh, you've beaten the Miracle Boy in a throwdown. Nice. That's how it's done. Level 11 still. We've got one more throw down to do. Right, uh, let's go deal with you now. Um, so we can take either the R4 or we can take the Subaru. I'm going to take the Subaru again. We missed the Subaru. Subaru is a nice car. If I could have any car, I would want a Subaru. I mean, I want a Subaru, a Nissan R34 Skyline, and a Bugatti Veyron. Those are my three dream cars. If I could have them, I would be a happy man. Let's win this one. We can do this. If we overtake Katie, we know we have definitely won. Fast 
Oh, oh, whoa, 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 nearly lost that. Yeah, we are. Oh, that's not gone well. Right, we've got some hairpins to do. Let's see if we can master this. Perfect. I don't think that corner could have gone any better if we tried. Here we go, don't cut. We're in Mr. McRae's car. We are the McRae. Easy left. Into easy right and medium left cut. Medium right, don't cut. Easy left and easy right. Jet is really sort of surprising. Colin McRae died over 10 years ago now. Oh! But over over ten years ago, that guy was amazing. Though the stuff that he could do behind the wheel was insane. He could drive a rally car like no other person could. One fifty four. I will take that throwdown win. Right, let's skip that. Still level 11 though. Are we going to level up at any point? It would be nice to. Right, so at uh, level 12 we unlock China, which is interesting. Um, what we're going to do now, I think we said X Games, didn't we? The X Games feature a knockout structure. 32 drivers enter in four heats of eight competitors. The top four drivers in each heat then move on to the semifinals. Finish fourth or better here and you're into the final. Win that and the gold's yours. Sounds nice. Simple, huh? So, our first event, we're going to be taking the Hummer H3. That'll be a good one. Uh, then the Rally, we're going to take the Subaru. And then for the Rally Cross, we're going to take the R4, but we're going to customise it so we've got a nice delivery on it. Here we go, Fab Tech. And that is our lineup completed. So, we're starting with our Raid Truck. Quarter final in Croatia. We're starting actually on the exact same track we just beat Dave Mirror, uh, interestingly enough. So let's go. Let's do this. Favorite track is Hairpin Run. Yes. Hairpin Run is a good track. It's the one that we just did with Katie Justice. See, I'm passionate about this game. I know a lot about this game. Come on, we can do this. Let's not mess this up at all.
Oh, that wasn't good. Quick, spin it round, spin it round, let's go. We've just got to get in the top four to qualify. So that's all I'm caring about right now. But obviously a higher position would be nice. And especially beating Dave Mirror. Oh, we could actually overtake. We could actually overtake. We've overtaken. First place. Get in there. That is a very, very quick car. It's massive, but it's quick. Great job today. Right, we're on to our second race of the X Games now. 1,000 XP for coming first. Amazing. Loading, loading, loading. X Games. Right, so it looks... Is this the rally one, yeah? This is Morocco. Yeah, this is rally. Is intense and the track is loose. Good luck. Right, so we're in Morocco. We haven't actually been to Morocco yet. So uh, this is sort of brand new, fresh-ish to everyone out there. Let's do this. We can do this. Two, one, go! Let's go. This game, even though for a game that came out in 2009, is still playable as he loses control of the car. But it is still a very playable game. You can play this, you can enjoy this. And the fact is, the graphics aren't even that bad. And this game came out in 2009. Right, let's slow down for this corner. Oh, you've spun out. Nearly messed me up there. Onto tarmac. Here we go, tarmac here. And here's the finishing line. Woo! 145.9.09. Oh, First place. Right, on to the well final event. One thousand XP as well for coming in first place. Uh, so we are now in the Colin McRae R4. We are in London for the final of this rally cross. Let's do this. Unreal, what are you doing? There we go. Maybe you're too good for me. Maybe. Maybe. Yes. 
That's it. That's what we're looking for. Those nice corners there flowing into each other. And across the line onto lap number two. There we go. Nothing is more satisfying than a smooth drift. When they flow from one... Not that. That is not satisfying. But when you flow from one corner to another... I've lost half of the back of my car now. There we go. Inside, let's go through. Nice. X Games Europe. Oh, that was a good corner. And there we go. Oh wait, no, this isn't the finish line straight. It's the other one that's the finish line straight. That thing up there. And there we go. First place in the final race. We won the X Games Europe. Woo! And there's our car at the front. In style. Where's the explosions? Oh, we didn't get any explosions. But we are the X Games Euro champ now. We got ourselves 200,000 credits. Which is a nice paycheck. And a level 12. Oh, Shoei. That Shoei livery is nice. And we got a breed livery as well. Sweet stuff. Hula girl. Congratulations. For winning the X Games, the organizers have given you a special edition Rallycross car. Awesome. They've given us an R4. That's real nice. You just won X Games Europe. That's not good. X Games Asia, the biggest event in all of Asia. You're going to need to rack up a few more wins before you can compete here. We're nearly at the, the level to complete now, that now. Well done. I've let the other guys know you can hack the pace. You'll have no problems racing in China now, so let's go. Right, so we got China to do now. But obviously what we're going to do, we're going to complete every single rookie one first. So we're going to start off with, I think, Japan first. We'll do these. Um, I want to give our special Rallycross vehicle a drive. We're going to give this a go. X Games Europe. Monster Energy. Let's go. This car is a special vehicle just for us for winning the X Games. Hey, Craig. You got here okay then. Dump your bags and come join me. Let's go. Let's go for some racing. Oh, it's Ken Block. Oh, I can beat you. Not a problem. Let's go then. Okay, so this track looks very tarmac based then. Oh. Going 
Got ourselves a little dent on the back of our car. AKA the back of the car's fallen off. Right, quick, let's get those positions back. Right, straighten up. There we go. Make it across safe. <laughs> that Christian guy really goes on. That's the guy who does the voiceover. Oh. Rewind. Haha, -ha, it's rewind time. Right, so that was our fifth flashback of the series. Here we go. Oh, let's get around that corner. Nice. Nicely done. I've done that again. How have I done that twice in a row on that corner? Come on, we can't let Mr. Block beat us. Ah, Mr. Block beat us. That is the first race we haven't actually come first in. Gutted. Hey, Craig. You managed to stay in second place. Nice. Yeah, that's not good enough for me, though. I want to win. I want to come first in every event. Gutted about that. Uh, but we got ourselves a fair amount of XP there. We got some money, which is always very useful. Japan. Right, so we have ourselves another event, which is domination. In domination races, the track is split in sectors. Complete the fastest time in each sector, and it's yours. At the end of the race, the driver who dominates the track and earns the most points wins. Interesting. I don't remember how this event went. Or how it worked. So, I've just realised this is a lower level than this. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to pick our R4X games again. <laughs> the R4, it has such a weird design. It Obviously, the Colin McRae R4 was designed for Rally. It was designed from the ground up for rally. It wasn't a car that was turned into a rally car. It was made a rally car. That they made, like, public versions so that people could buy one so that they could use it in the rally because it had to be sort of a production car. That's the word I was looking for. Cars had to be production before they could be put in a rally. It wasn't like, oh, you can make a custom car like an F1. Imagine F1 cars being made production, just so that they could use them in F1. Like, um, I think it was in Le Mans when they had Porsche. If you could make, they had a rule back then. If you made enough production vehicles, you could actually, um, that's the third time I've done that on that corner. Uh, if you could make enough production vehicles, you could have like a 600 horsepower engine. Otherwise, you had to go for a 450 horsepower. And they just went crazy, made like 50 production vehicles to get extra engines. Like, m extra power in their engine. It's rules like that that are crazy. Sector 4 has been dominated.
Alright, let's see if we can dominate this one. Can we dominate it? Can we dominate it? Sector 1 has been dominated. Right, it is Sector 3 that we need to watch out for. Sector 2 dominated this corner. Perfect. We didn't spin out. That is a result there. Sector 3 dominated. The entire track has been dominated by yours truly. And let's make sure we dominate that part as well. First place, domination dominated. Nice going. Nice going. Nice going indeed. Right, continue. The thing I like about this game as well is you can just go into event after event after event. Other games, it sort of takes a while to get into an event. But this is just like event, 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 event. The loading times are really quick. So you're here in the menu already. Down, you need to beat the target time. Are you up for it? Yes, I'm up for it. Let's go do a throwdown. Right, so we're doing rally cross. So I'm gonna pick. I want to pick the Subaru Impreza because it is like the overpowered car of the game. Um, but I want to save up as much money as possible. So we're gonna pick the R4 again. Um, but when you get into, like, um, amateur, you definitely need to start um, picking better cars. Japan. Let's go. See if we can beat his time. Target is 112. Ah, uh, we messed that up. Let's see if we can do it on this lap. If not, we go on to the next lap. I want to see Ken Block do a Jim Carner and a Colin McRae at R4. I really do. Ah, oh, we spun out there again. What is it with this corner and this car? Oh, that corner was perfect. There we go, we did it. 1 minute 8.707. I've done it again. Absolutely destroyed. Who's backyard? You've beaten the Wonder Boy in a throwdown. Nice. You're getting loads of gamer score here as well. Level 13 as well, which is a nice touch. Shoey! We got another shoey livery. Look at all those new events. You're making a name for yourself now. Nice. We got loads of new events to do. Right, so that's going to do it for today's episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>